today I am filming this makeup look. So it's a uh, first impressions, um, trying a new Givenchy makeup for the first time and then also like mixing in my faves because I don't have a full base of Givenchy. So anything that I didn't have I just use my favourite products and just like... So if you want to see this look then make sure you keep watching or if you just want to see me make a fool of myself and just to see how inexperienced I am at makeup and find out how I got that mark on my hand then just keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to use is the Givenchy moisturiser which I was also um, gifted but I have actually started using this already because I just couldn't wait. Um, oh and I need to put my little head thing on. This is a little L'Oreal one that I got. I don't actually normally, <laughs> I don't actually normally use this if I'm honest, but I thought I'd be professional. How funny, Penny literally would not come in from outside. Oh my God, I look great. And now that I've just started filming, she's coming because she wants to be annoying. Probably going to just like gain my video the whole time that she, Charlotte Tilbury won. Um, okay, so first off is moisturiser. I love this one so much. It's so like thin and easy to apply and it just dries instantly um so that's like my fave then i'm also going to put a bit of the givenchy lip balm um it's a called le rouge perfecto beautifying lip balm and i love the packaging of this it's just like a little pink where um, mm, that is so nice I really like creamy kind of texture for a lip balm. I'm gonna put this mirror here. It's not in this side, but so I can see myself. <laughs> Cause I need to see what I'm doing. Okay, that's really nice. It's like a really nice like kind of pinky texture. You can see a bit of the mirror. Okay, so first primer, don't have primer. So I'm basically using all the new Givenchy things. If I don't have um, something Givenchy, then I'm just using my favorite that I use every day. So this is my favorite primer. It's not actually a primer, it's the Olivia Men's post shave sensitive balm it's amazing i was looking for the best primer online i was happy to spend whatever and then i saw that this was the best one so i thought i'd try it and it is and i've been using it for probably three years now um and it lasts ages and it costs like three pounds so winning so again i'm going to use my own foundation because i don't have a bunch of one this is my all-time favorite foundation honestly I could not recommend foundation more than this one. It's so amazing. It's the nicest. It's the Dolce & Gabbana Perfect Matte Liquid Foundation. I'm going to link everything below. And then this is my Clinique um, foundation brush, which I use pretty much. You're going to learn here that I'm, first of all, like, if you watch my channel already, you know that I'm not an expert. Like, this is just me playing around with makeup. I'm not a beauty guru or anything uh, of the kind. Not even a, like, beauty lover well i do love bacon but like i don't have a clue um so yeah i pretty much use a couple of brushes for everything and i use all the wrong brushes for everything so feel free to sound off in the comments and let me know what i should be doing um but yeah i probably shouldn't be putting it on my neck i always put it on my neck though because my fake tan and like also i just want everything to match so yeah anyway First of all, let's just appreciate how amazing this foundation is. I love it so much and it lasts all day, which is the re main reason I love it. Um, so I have got a Givenchy um, concealer, which I'm going to use. This is the Stylo Correction Luminaire. Um, and it's like a Touche Claire style one. So let's get the lid off. As you can see, I've never used it. So I'm just going to give it a good old twist. This always freaks me out. I feel like it's like brushing me out or something. Like, come on. <laughs> 10 hours later. <laughs> okay, now, okay, it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> that sounded wrong. I never know how much concealer I put quite a lot on. Okay, this colour's quite pinky. That's just a shade. I put quite a lot of concealer on. I've got a, ma a massive complex about my under eyes. And then it's going to cover up this little spot here. Okie dokie. <laughs> Blend that in. Again, use my foundation brush. 
As I said, you're gonna be shocked because I use it for a lot. <laughs> Actually, that's really nice. Covered up quite well, blended well. Okay, so another fave thing of mine is this Clinique Chubby Stick. This is like my third one. They last quite a long time, so I literally just draw where I wish I had cheekbones. <laughs> I put loads of this on, and I usually go around for round two too. So. And then I recently saw a Rihanna thing where she puts it here too. But I don't really know why. I just do it because Rihanna did it. It's good enough for Rihanna. It's good enough for me. And then I just blend with the same brush again. <laughs> I literally have like a dry makeup brush and a wet makeup brush. So this gives me a nice kind of glow. And I like that it's all in one too. It's like, um, all wet, sorry. I like that it's wet. I'm just going for a little bit more. Lovely. So now I'm nice and tanned. I'm going to go in with the highlight, um, my favourite highlight at the moment, which is Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. And I literally am just going to put it on my brow bone and on my cheekbone. And then, you guessed it, going in again <laughs> with this brush. And sometimes I just get the end, whatever's left over, put it on my nose. So that's my like base done. And I do have a Givenchy finishing powder, but apparently that's what you put on at the end of... So I'm going to use a setting powder. I don't know if it's a setting powder or a finishing powder. Anyway, it's a translucent powder that I always use when I've done my wet makeup to like set it. Um, and it's from YSL and it's called the Souffle de Claire. But I will obviously link everything below. So I just put a load in there. And then this is like a really old Avon brush from when... My mum did Avon. I used to do Avon too. How funny. I was like 10 years old and had an Avon round. It's my first job. Actually, my first job used to be making catalogues at my dad's work. I used to work at a place that sold like portless trucks and stuff. I don't know. He's the IT man. And me and my sister used to make catalogues and literally they used to tell us off for like making too much noise because we just used to run around and screaming. <laughs> basically didn't do any work. So now we're on to dry. So take a dry brush. No, I have actually got a couple of dry brushes. You'll be pleased to know. So the first thing I do is I've got my Charlotte Tilbury. I love this. Don't have any bronzes or anything um, from Crunchy. So this is Charlotte Tilbury um, little, I think it's called what, Film Star Bronze and Glow. So you've got a bronzer and a blusher. This bronzer is really nice for like an all round bronze, but it's not very good for like building up bronze if you want to do contour and stuff. So I definitely recommend. So normally I just use this to like, just make sure I'm like nice and bronzed. Usually do a bit on the neck to like blend into my tan. And if I'm wearing a top like this, then I definitely do, which is why my tops are all covered in makeup. Then, this is a new product that I've recently got. Um, I got it in a good bag from Net Porter and I love it. And it's called, I don't really know what it's called. It's the shade Desert Sun, it's Ultra Luminous Bronzer. But it's by EB. I don't know what EB is. But it's really nice. And I usually use this brush. I'm going to list what everything is. This is a Sigma brush. And I just add a little bit more contour with this. Literally just, this is really dark, so I don't think, I tried it once to use it as a normal brush, yeah, but I think it's a bit too, and I got my normal bronzer blush, and then just like blend, blend it in. But yeah, that's way too dark, I think, for me to use as like a normal bronzer, but it's quite nice as like a little contour. Um, and then I use a blush of this, um, it's just... Blush my cheeks. Another Sigma brush. I pull this face. I'm the apples in my cheeks. 
And then sometimes I think, oh, a bit too much blush, a bit too much bronze, and I just get my powder and I do this. And I always thought that I was like half assing it when I did that. And then I watched someone else's video the other day. I can't remember who it was. I think it was Jeffree Star, and it's called Veiling. I veil. I didn't even know I did it. And I veil. Okay, so now we're going to use the Givenchy powder. So this is the Prism Visage. And it is beautiful. I've already seen it because I saw it when we had a meeting. She like got it out and showed me it. You get a little brush in here. I never use those brushes to be honest. But I, send, I do keep them in there because if you put it in your handbag then it's good to have things like that. But like at home I use my own. And then look how beautiful that is. And then I'm going to use my Avon brush again. Good old Avon. And just swirl around all the different colours. And then finish. Finish with the finishing powder. This smells incredible. Incredible. I feel finished. On to the eyes. So first I'm going to use my eyeshadow palette that I love. So I'm using my Real Techniques brush. This is a domed shadow brush. I have a few eyeshadow brushes. I don't use them all for different things. I literally am like, I'm going to use this one today. And then I use it for everything. Um, so yeah. And then this is it's a right mess, but this is my favourite eyeshadow palette from Charlotte Tilbury. I usually get the brush and do this first to get out all the mess from the last one, OMG. And then, <laughs> you guys are probably like cringing, I get this like shimmery light shade. And shall I bring you closer actually? So I brought you way in for the eyes. Um, so I get this like little light colour here, like creamy colour, I think it's called. Uh, and I literally do the inside of my eye, like the corner bit. And I sometimes do this too, because I've seen other people do it on the internet and it looks nice. Just like drag it down so that like the corner of my eye is kind of highlighted. Then I get this one, which is like kind of similar but more coppery. And I do the rest of my eye with that. Then this is a bit that you're probably all going to be like, oh my god, at... I get this one and I literally rub quite a lot on and then I just like her I literally just place loads of it on my eye loads and loads and loads until it looks like that then <laughs> wait to be shocked <laughs> I get a highlighter brush and just do this and blend it all together because I don't know how to blend with blending brushes I don't know all these different brushes I like how that looks I'm just like I'm done and then I get my powder brush and just do that in case there's any fallout oh wait fallout <laughs> um I mean, I don't think that looks bad. I don't know. Maybe it needs a bit more blending. Blending. Um, okay, so then I have a new Givenchy product. Oh my God, look at my hand. Um, so this is the eyeliner, Liner Couture. And I haven't tried this yet. It's a lovely little, and the, like, the length of it is insane. Can you see? I don't know my filthy hand. Okay, I'm not gonna get that, clearly. Um, but yeah, it's so, long so so when I do my eyeliner this is how I do it I'm gonna bring this closer because you can't see it now um, so this is how I do it I get first of all I do the, the little pointy bit and then I like join it so pointy bit it's kind of like picked up a bit of my um, eyeshadow because it's not black as the night ta-da that ain't half bad so now that my eyeliner's done this is so close i'm like it's a tiny screen when i'm watching it now but i'm just realizing how big this is going to be on your computer screen so it's killing me okay so i have some more mascara products 
So, eye products so This is a mascara base, and I've never used one of these before, so I'm super intrigued. Personally, I'm just in love with the packaging. Um, so, it's like a mascara primer. So, this is the part where I ruin my eyeshadow and everything from before. So, I guess I'm just going to put it on like I would put a mascara on. So, I don't know if you can see, I have like white eyelashes now. <laughs> they look really weird in the mirror, but I don't know if you can see them as close in that, that screen there. Maybe when it's blown up, you will. Um, so, I'm just going to let that dry before I use the mascara, which I also have. So, I've got some of my fave brow products here. This is really good, but I haven't sharpened it. So, I'm actually just going to use the spoolie because it's really good just to like brush out my brows, brush them out. Just keep brushing. Now I'm going to use this brow pencil which I was kindly sent and it's really good. It's not like my first choice of eyebrow pencil but I've run out of my first choices so I'm using this. And I do like it, um, it's just not my first choice. It's the B Brow Bar Brow Definer. Extra slim brow pencil in Indian chocolate. How exotic. So Literally, I always just do this bit first to get like the arch and like this bit, this this beginning bit, the right kind of look. And then I never know what to do about this bit because I got told that I over pluck it, or I did, slash mum I'm looking at you because you always used to pluck my eyebrows. Um, so it should be longer and they keep leaving it and like not plucking it but at the same time I'm like well I think it looks weird. So, I don't like drawing on brows that I don't have, but I do do a little bit. Just a little bit, like that. Um, and then I just kind of go go down the end. Just kind of go with what's there, to be honest. My brows look different every day, if I'm honest. Sometimes I'm happy, sometimes I'm shocked, sometimes I'm sad. So that's the brow done. I mean, I don't know why I said what I said before because I do think it is a really nice brow um, pencil and it's probably the best one, like, match-wise to my brow colour because it's really hard to find one for blondes. But at the same time, my other one was just, like, thicker and darker so it was more, like, immediate, whereas this one's more, like, a build. The brows are done and then I always use this Couture Brow YSL, like, setting gel stuff. To set them, um, this is really old, I probably need a new one, like it's not run right out, but purely just because it's probably like mouldy though, it doesn't smell. It's definitely over a year old though. So then we have the mascara, and this is the Phenomenize mascara, and this is honestly the weirdest mascara I've ever seen. So it's like nice everything's really nicely packaged but wait till you see the end of it it's crazy look it's just like a little ball it's insane so i'm gonna try and use this <laughs> so i always do the base i feel like this is gonna be really messy for me i always try and do the base of my lashes first So that I make sure that they're all coated. And then I normally like comb it out, so I'm not really sure what to do with this. I guess like just keep rubbing it around and blinking. I will say it's really good, like, it's not getting, I keep putting it in, like, it's really not, like, filling up with product, like, in a good way, because I hate it when they get all gloopy and, like, just, like, ugh. I don't know how I feel about this. 
I mean, my lashes look really good. Is that because I use a primer first or is it a combination of the two? I definitely think that primer is really good. I don't know if I have the energy, <laughs> energy, effort to like use it every day, but like for an event or a night out, 100%. So I'm all done with the mascara and I have got a bit of it on my eyelids and I saw something on Jeffree Star the other day as a tack on how to get rid of that without water and stuff. Is it literally using an eyebrow spoolie? Oh my god, it works so well. <laughs> Such a good hack. Um, so yeah. Now we just need lips, and I have two lips here. It's the Le Rouge Liquid, the new lipstick from Givenchy. So what I'm gonna do, so they come in packaging like this, and um, so we have two here. I'm gonna swatch them both to show you. So this is um, Lintedit. <laughs> Wait, that's a better way. Lintedit. <laughs> Not really good at words. <laughs> I'm not really good at talking in general. And then this is, oh, this is orange plumentis. This one here. So they're quite similar. I think I'm gonna go for orange plumentis today. Um, so. I'm tragic, FYI. <laughs> I know you're watching this and thinking, she's so awful at putting makeup on. I know it. I'm tragic and I know it. So, that lipstick is really nice. I think it really suits like blonde, because it's like a more of an orangey red, whereas a reddy red, I can sometimes feel it looks a bit like, I don't know, I want to say like Scarlet Woman. Anyway, let me take my hair down. So we can fully appreciate the look. Now I'm going to do that thing that all beauty vloggers do. And my beauty bugger, yeah. So I've just put you out again so you can see the full look from afar. Um, let me know what you guys think. Do you like it? Do you think I should do more of these haphazard tutorials or do you think it's an absolute train wreck or do you enjoy watching the train wreck? Let me know what you think of the Givenchy products. Let me know what you think of my favourites. Do you like the finished look? Um, and yeah, if you want to see more then just let me know. Um, and yeah. I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for three videos a week. Generally all fashion, but like more than happy to do more beauty ones if you guys want to see. Like I always send beauty products. So if you like seeing these first impression ones, then just let me know and I am more than happy to oblige. Um, or if there's like a brand you want me to do one on, then like I would more than happily do that. Please make it cheap though because I ain't rich. <laughs> and yeah, I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.